welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how to install the ubuntu linux on a virtual box in 2024 so without any delay let's quickly get started before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more and more valuable videos for you now first let's see what are the basic and the exact requirement in order to enjoy the virtual box and the ubuntu linux on your windows pc and laptop number one the drive where you will be installing the ubuntu linux make sure that it contain at least 50 gb of free storage number two make sure that you are connected with a wi-fi connection or if you are connected with a limited data plan then you must have at least six gigabyte of data available because while downloading the virtual box and the ubuntu iso it will take around six gigabyte of data number three make sure that microsoft visual c plus plus has been installed on your windows pc or laptop and number four you also need to make sure that the virtualization has been enabled so for that what you can do you can right click on the windows icon click on task manager then from the left hand menu option click on performance and at the right hand corner you will find the virtualization status and you can see on my end it's been enabled but if it shows you disable then you will have to enable it from the bios i have already created a video on this topic so if you want to enable it then you can check that video the link will be in the description and from there you can enable the virtualization okay now let's move with the installation process so first bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type virtualbox download then hit the enter key and then you will have to click on the first link of download oracle vm virtualbox i will also leave the direct link in the description so open the website and once you come up here it says virtualbox 7.0.14 and here you have to click on the first link that says windows host click on it and the downloading will be quickly started and it's around 106 mb so depending on your internet connection it may take some time so you will have to wait and once it get downloaded you will have to open the downloaded file click on yes the setup box will be up now here you have to click on next and here if you want to change the location of the installation file then you can change it from here i don't want to change it so i will click on next and then click on yes click yes again and click on install and once it get installed you will have to click on finish and the virtual box manager box will be coming up so now what you can do you can minimize it again bring up any of your favorite browser open up a new tab and here you have to type ubuntu download again click on the first link of download ubuntu desktop and you will be coming to the ubuntu official website and here you have to look for download 22.04.4 that is the latest version and you can see the iso image size is around 4.7 gigabyte and this is the reason i recommended you in the beginning that if you are connected with a limited data plan then you must have at least 6 gb of data all right so you will have to click on download and the downloading will now be started and it will take some time because it's around 4.7 gigabyte so wait until the file has been downloaded and once the iso get downloaded again bring up the virtual box now here you will find different kind of options so first you will have to click on new then it will say that virtual machine name and operating system so you have to type the name of this virtual machine so i will type ubuntu then it will ask you the folder that where exactly you want to save this virtual machine file so i will keep this to default only iso image so here on the right hand side click on the drop down then click on other now locate to the place where you have downloaded the ubuntu iso so on my end it's in new volume e here it is i have already downloaded before so i will select it and click on open so once the iso has been selected now you have to click on next now it will ask you the username so type your desired username so i will type crown now choose your desired password and make sure that your password should be easy because each and every time you will have to log in so i will take a very basic and the easy password that is one two three four five and then i will confirm it in the host name if you want to change the host name then you can change it i will keep it to ubuntu then again you have to click on next and now you will be coming to the hardware section that is the most important part and here you have to allot assign the hardware to your virtual machine now this will totally depend that what kind of configuration you have for your real computer 
accordingly you will have to provide the base memory and the processor so in order to find your configuration you have to right click on your windows icon then click on task manager click on performance and here in the memory you can see i have 16 gigabyte of ram so i can go with half of the value that will be 8 gigabyte or probably less than that so on your end if you have 8 gigabyte of ram then you have to go with 4 gigabyte not more than that okay you can take less than that but not more than that so i have 16 gigabytes so i will allot around 8 gigabyte or i will just take in a round figure and make it around 7000 okay and now next is the processor so again bring up the task manager click on cpu and here on the right hand corner you will find your core so on my end you can see i have eight cores so again i have to take the half of the value that will be four but on your end if it shows you only four then you have to go with two but if it shows you two then you have to go with one all right so hopefully you know the concept whatever your total number of processor is total number of core is whatever your uh, ram is you have to go with half of the value not more than that okay so i will go back again and processor core i will give around four then i have to click on next now it will say create a virtual hard disk now so at least it's 25 gigabyte recommended but i would say that go with at least 35 gigabytes so that at least you can go and download anything without any kind of problem but again it will depend that how much space is available in your main drive so if you have enough space like me then i can go with around 40 gigabyte then again you have to click on next and then click on finish and now you can see the ubuntu is showing us on the left hand side so you will have to simply click on it then you will have to click on the start and it will take few seconds to power on the machine and in the next screen it will ask you that what exactly you want to do so i want to install the ubuntu i will select the first option then hit the enter key and the ubuntu setup page will be started and bingo so now you can see the installation process has been automatically started so now it may take some time so you will have to wait until the installation the verification everything has been completed bingo finally guys you can see the ubuntu installation has been completed and now we are on the login page now the installation process may take about 10 to 15 minutes and the virtual machine may restart once or twice all right so now click on the username type the same password that you created while configuring the virtual machine hit the enter key and now you will be on your ubuntu desktop and it says connect your online account so if you want to connect it then you can connect it as of now i will skip it then it says enable ubuntu pro for this installation or skip the step so i will skip as of now click on next click on next now it might give you the location services if you want to enable it then you can enable it i won't do right now you are ready to go code spotify these are the applications then you have to click on done so now this is how the desktop look like now on this virtual box if you want to make any kind of changes so on the left and top you will find the file section you can click on preferences and from here you can do many kind of changes like the display settings the input and the update settings next we have the machine option and if you click on machine then click on settings so here you can make many kind of changes like you can click on system and you can just change the configuration like the ram the processor count you can enable the acceleration if you want to from here again you can manage the display the storage so if you want to increase or decrease the storage that you can do as well then if you click on the view section then from here you can click on full screen mode if you want to go full screen all right now you can see that resolution has not been properly set so for that you can right click on your desktop then click on display settings and here in the resolution you can go with 1920 into 180 then click on apply click on keep changes and now you can see that it's working in the full resolution all right so this is how exactly guys you have to install the ubuntu linux on a virtual box now let's say if you want to perform any kind of action you want to work on it then you can go ahead and enjoy the ubuntu desktop and if you want to turn off if you want to power shut down then click on the power icon at the right hand corner and from here only you can just click on power off click power off again then click on power off 
and the virtual machine will now be shutting down okay so once you are done you can go ahead and close it now let's say in future maybe next day if you want to open the virtual box again then again you have to click on your window search type virtual box click on oracle vm virtual box and the virtual box manager will be up again again you can click on ubuntu then click on start and the machine will be quickly started so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if you have any kind of doubt any kind of confusion you can let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye